Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the super important questions of 18 CS 42 module 1. So before that I would like to make some things clear for you. So I have uploaded already all the uh, 18 CS 42 videos for module 1 to uh, 5 and year back in my, uh, you can find it in my playlist. So you can watch that videos and in in the each video I have also included the notes link. Okay, in each video of module uh, which is um, found in the 4 same playlist, in that I have included the notes also for that particular video. Okay. So those are my handwritten notes and I have used the same notes to explain the concepts, okay. In this video, I will not be explaining the concepts in depth, but I will be just explaining what are the super important questions and what are the key points. If you want in-depth explanation, I have explained in very depth in those videos, you can watch that and uh, learn from that, okay. So here I will be just touching the top surface of the answers, okay. So the notes which I am going to refer in this video can be found in the link given in the description box. In that you can find this folder here and in this folder, I will upload all the notes which I am going to refer in this video, okay. So firstly, you have to go to this folder, here you can find out i have uploaded three papers february 2021 model question paper 2 model question paper 1 if you go through these three papers what we can observe is in the first module the mainly the introduction of algorithm is asked and the different asymptotic notations and a um, few other things like write an algorithm to find maximum element and Fibonacci series, factorial, tower of Hanoi, recursive non-recursive uh, mathematical analysis okay so i'll uh, discuss each question in depth so that's what we'll be doing in this video and um, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this okay if you want more videos like this make sure you um, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel fine so let's get started here uh, in the model question paper one define algorithm write an algorithm to find maximum element in the array they uh, uh, distinguish between two common ways to represent a graph general plan for analyzing efficiency of a recursive algorithm there is efficiency of non-recursive algorithm as well find the factorial important uh, problem types and fundamental data structures whatever the questions are asked here in this paper or in some any other paper or uh, any other model paper all those questions answers i have already discussed in the uh, module videos so you can watch that okay if you watch that it will be more than sufficient for you to score nice marks okay but here i'll be just discussing what are the most repeated ones okay Again, those don't uh, the questions which I'm going to include now don't include all the questions which are asked in the previous papers. Just the most repeated ones. Even some questions are there which are not repeated that many times that I've not included. Only I've included seven questions here. See. In the module one, I've just included seven questions, okay? And, uh, and uh, beyond the seven questions also, there are many questions which are repeated, okay? But I'm just re including the super repeated ones, okay? Once you have done that, uh, done these questions, go to their previous papers and see the questions and solve. That will be more better for you, okay? So, um, yeah, I think we can get started. <clears throat> the first question is, what is an algorithm? What are the properties of an algorithm? Explain with an example. So this is the module one note. This I'll be uploading in the same link given in the description box. So you can go there. First question is what is an algorithm? So what is an algorithm? Uh, the answer can be found here. I'm not going to explain anything in this video. I'm just explaining what are the key points you need to mention and where the answers are presented. Fine. So this is the definition of an algorithm. You can go through it. And what are the different um, properties of algorithm? These are the different properties. Input, output, definiteness, finiteness, effectiveness. Okay. And these are just the examples are present here. So they had asked examples, right? You can write this example and write any algorithm for your choice. For example, I can tell you to add two numbers. What is the algorithm for adding two numbers? Input number one, input number two, and add. This is the function of the body and then output means print the sum. That's all. This is the one of the algorithm. This is one of the algorithm. Right, you can, uh, in algorithm, it, it does not matter which language you're using. It's a pseudo code, right? So you can use any algorithm. So that's what the first question is uh, about the algorithm. That, this is all what you have to write, okay? Moving on, you have the second question. Explain asymptotic notations with examples. Asymptotic notation, uh, notation there are three. Big theta, big omega, and um, big O. Okay, so let's see what are the differences between them. So asymptotic notation can be found in uh, page number 8. So in page number 8, you can find the, the definition of asymptotic notation and there is efficiency as well. This is the theta notation. You have to write this definition and write an example for this one. What do these terms mean? All have been already discussed. So I'm not discussing anything now. Just a brief information I'll give. Theta means what average? Theta means what average? Okay. So this is the uh, main function which you are trying to find out. And this is enclosed between this function and this function. So it is an average one. What about O notation? O is the um, worst, ty uh, worst uh, time uh, complexity. So this is the normal function and it can go till here. It can take more time. That is the worst uh, time case complexity. This is the omega. Omega is the best time uh, complexity. This is the normal function. It can be reduced and can be best at this uh, moment of time. Okay. So that is the uh, three asymptotic notation you have to explain. Make sure you make the graphs as well. 
so it will be more clear to the examiner what you are uh, trying to say explain the general plan for analyzing the efficiency of recursive and non-recursive algorithm coming to page number 13 you can find out the mathematical mathematical analysis of a non-recursive algorithm okay so these are the steps we have which you have to mention after that there is there is an example also you can give the example as well examples are present here you can choose any of those and uh, quotes are also given here so this is as a separate question but you can include in this one as uh, showing for an example uh, like how to mathematically analyze the function that will increase your um, chances of getting more marks for the question this you have to do only when the question is asked for eight marks okay coming to page number 17 we can find the answer for the mathematical analysis of the recursive algorithm so this is the recursive algorithm analysis these are the steps also some examples are present here you can go through it the next super important and the repeated question is if t1n belongs to uh, o of g1n and t2n belongs to o of g2n prove that t1n plus t2n belongs to o of maximum of g1n and g2n this is pretty obvious if you think by common sense you can understand this is uh, in uh, o of g1 of n and this is o of g2 of n if you add both of them if this is bigger or this is bigger which, whichever is bigger if you add them and multiply by 2 that will be the same thing which is uh, getting the max value right so if you want the proof and the explanation that already i have explained in my video you can watch that and the uh, answer can be found in the page number 10 in the page number 10 the same the thing is present here prove the following algorithm uh, prove the following theorem the same theorem is given here and the answer is also given here you can go through it okay so till here you have to write moving on to the next one we have write an algorithm to find the maximum element in the array of n elements this already we discussed just now Coming to page number 14, you can find this answer here. This is the algorithm which you are supposed to write. Find out the largest element in a list of n elements. Okay. Write an element for the um, algorithm for checking whether all the array elements are distinct or not. De derive its worst time creates uh, complexity. For the distinct elements, this is the answer. This is the algorithm which you have to write. And yeah basically that's it and assume the worst uh, case complexity treating all the com uh, comparisons that are made so this is the um, time complexity for the worst case which is o of n square same answers are given just you have to put a slight hard work okay also the factorial was also given uh, in the repeated questions but it was not super repeated so i didn't include that but make sure you do that as well okay and fibonacci was also there i guess and tower of hanoi is very much a super repeated one so tower of hanoi can be found here in the recursive part see study this one this one and this one this is the super repeated one tower of hanoi problem is the second one so this also i've explained in depth in that video so you can go through it and understand so this is the algorithm which you are supposed to write fine and yeah that's all uh, for this video and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one